enjoying my reactions but you don't feel like waiting a week for the next upload that's cool because i got you covered chances are by the time you watch this show on youtube i'll already have the full seasons available over on patreon in their complete unedited glory all you gotta do is become a tier 2 patron and if you just so happen to be a viewer who wants to request things from me such as movies and shows then you can take your loyalty even further by becoming a tier 3 patron the ball is in your court and i'm completely at your service so take advantage of these opportunities now Yo, what's going on you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Red and Black Gamer, here with me, myself, and I on the ones and twos, and this is Wayne Tina Reactions, the place where we react to everything we've never seen. And today, if you read by the title, you already know what time it is. It's time to take out those Shoto phones, file an Imperial Report for some more Samurai Sentai Shikinger. Yeah, buddy, I was so happy to see that those events that happened in that movie, the fateful war, were actually acknowledged, man. Um, we got a chance to see the return of the dinosaur origami or the dinosaur folding god, as it's called. And that thing right there really helped out because one thing I noticed is that some weapons, they can do you good. You know, usually with the Shaken Red, you know, he's a guy that, you know, deals a lot of damage to like a wide array of enemies, but he can only do so much with that big thing. When the battlefield is filled with expansive amounts of enemies, it calls for something more effective. And that's where the dinosaur folding god comes in because it's all about crowd control. And that's what we saw up in the Faithful War movie. You know, we saw this big battlefield filled to the brim with all these different rates and um, unnamed, whatever they want to call them. Uh, is that what they call them? The unnamed? Yeah, all those different enemies just getting like wrecked by this special super hyper red weapon that he uses you know and i feel like um you guys may have heard me say this during the reaction i feel like the super mode they use for all the different characters that they kind of like interchange in between characters i feel like all of them should have their own thing at this point and um maybe um the hyper shinken red is something that Takeda will just keep uh, to himself while the other ones use the uh, super mode. I'm not sure, but hopefully they do that, man. But guys, as you notice, I'm uploading yet another reaction on the same day for Super Sam or Samurai Sh uh, Sentai Shikinger. I don't know why I was going to say Super Samurai. We do not want to acknowledge that awful counterpart to this. But yeah, I thought it would be cool if I um, did another one because, like I say, I was lacking in uh, uploads and I want to make up uh, for it, you know, so... We're going to go ahead and jump into another episode, man. It seems like we're going to be getting a new origami, which this uh, episode is going to be titled after. This is going to be Act 32 titled The Ushi Origami. So let's go ahead and jump into this. We got on Yu Yu Hakusho clothes. Wow. Somebody over there stealing y'all shit? Or have they just gone rogue? It's like maybe they're on strike because y'all ain't paying them enough. Maybe they having a party. Oh, wow. Really? Who is this kid? <laughs> Damn. That's so. Oh, okay. I've heard about this one in the American counterpart. Okay. Oh shit, my boy Sword is still over there, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
私もその一族しか知らん。聖は代々、榊原と。つまり代々、虫折り紙が生まれないように見張っている一族。虫折り紙が生まれないよ。他の折り紙たちと同じように、真剣者と一緒に戦える。Really? Aren't you a little too small though? So you talk about doing us all here, kid, if this shit doesn't work out. <laughs> man, will y'all just let this man get to work? Oh, God. Wow. Yeah, he found it. So that's where the kid lost his wallet. So maybe the kid wasn't lying. Maybe I'm just tripping. Trying to do what we do best. Let's shing, shing, shing away. Hey. Shing. Shing, shing. Sounds so electric. Like it's coming from a speaker. Mm. <laughs> Anus blast attack. Get the shit out of here. Get him. He's after the bullis Bullimus Maximus, man. <laughs> yeah, you know you're over here, boy. Get your ass over here. If I tell you about going over there, messing with them peoples. <laughs> For real. <laughs> He's like a mixture of Chiaki and Genta, just fused into one. Got that brash hard headedness and that inventive. Yeah. I wonder if his wife succumbed to it. Like maybe she got trampled by the damn thing. It would be no wonder why the OG is just so bitter. Oh shit.
Ah, oh, this kid. Yeah, you don't have to do all the hard work. You can leave that to him. You're watching Disney Channel. Da, 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 da. What that boy did now? Yeah. Here we go. Did he use the seal yet, though? Or the disc? It looks kind of puts me in the mind of the Magna Defender Zord. So there has a whole carriage connected to him. <laughs> skirt, skirt, skirt! Boy, we ain't big enough to ride the bull. We gotta summon the Zord. Can't even get it off. How do you like got them shoes that you buy from Payless? <laughs> Y'all can get wrecked the fuck out of here. <laughs> A bull with shoulder mounted blasters is very dangerous. Damn. Oh yeah, y'all know y'all finna get y'all asses right. Don't get overwhelmed now. I don't know why my boy didn't just break out the damn dinosaur sword. Is he inside the thing? There you go. Goddamn boar origami ain't nothing to play with. Yeah, for us now. It's like this thing said red bull gives you wings is an understatement. <laughs> Wow, so he's actually inside him. <laughs> A test short mites. Just keep pushing. You trying to smack it? <laughs> when you try to ride the thing, that's hilarious. <laughs> Girl, wake your ass up, bro. Boy. Yeah, there was no way his clunky ass could just stay balanced on him for too long. Mess with the bull, you get the horns. 
Damn. This thing is really putting in work. Boy, and what is why do you keep showing my boy's sword, man? Is he still alive? Who is this? Oh, Dayu, what are you gonna do with that? I guess, but guys, that right there was Act 32, man. So the bull origami is finally in full effect now you guys may have heard me kind of predict some of the story elements in this episode because funny enough you know even though i dissed this show um power ranger samurai or power ranger super samurai i did kind of like keep up with it like um in certain parts you know just to see what they were talking about and i do remember like watching one episode of it and funny enough it was based on the bull zord you know that's what they call it over there or the bull origami and it has a similar premise but um if i'm not mistaken certain things were a bit deviated from like with the way they acquire the power of the zord you know they had a little boy that wanted to use his little disc in order to control it and they had these elements saying that yeah the thing was sealed away from 300 years by the ancestors or the samurai um samurai ranger ancestors and they were able to do it but um i think they had like a, an exclusive form uh called the shogun ranger so yeah that right there is something that I remember very vividly, you know, even though I didn't really just keep up with the series in its entirety. Um, this right here seems to be following a similar premise, you know, it is the original, so why wouldn't it? But I'm pretty sure there are a lot of different other things that kind of makes it uh, different from that. Uh, so that's uh, why I'm not really just super into it like I want to be. But it is cool that these guys are going to get a new Zord. You know, I don't know everything that the thing can do. You know, uh, hopefully we get a chance to see it be a major contributor to the Sheikingers. Shik you know what I'm saying? I want to see how this is going to affect the Zords because that's one thing that I like about the Super Mechas in this show. It's like the flexibility of them, the way they can just interchange and stuff like that. I love when the toy designers really just think ahead you know and show all the different combinations you can make with them and what they can be added what can be added on to them so yeah overall if i were to rate this one i give this episode just a solid a you know it just kind of ebbs as it flows and we're just going with the motions right now and we're trying to take control of this damn super mecha so uh yeah but anyways, we're going to keep it moving and grooving to this next episode, episode 33. So um, let's do this. Oh, yeah. He's dead now. He's fully relinquished of his curse. This guy's name is literally the elusive, so why would y'all even trust him? Really? Don't do it. So is his soul attached to the blade? Hmm. 
Yeah, it's like I was thinking he's going to talk to him kind of like the other kid in the Western version did. One thing I noticed, I wish they had the likeness of their animal spirits, like they actually knew how to utilize those spirits in the form of fighting techniques. <laughs> right? <laughs> Stupid ass nom skulls. The fuck, is this an illusion or is this real? Who's gonna do it though? Like, I'm so surprised this man is still alive. What is that? Destroy it? Oh, come on, bro. Wow. I mean, this thing is a sentient being though like why would you want to destroy that Hido feels like he's obligated to fulfill his dad's wish or something. Can't man. Give it back to him. You don't need that. We're gonna do this another way. Like he really wanted to, he could have did that himself. Sha sha! Oh shit! Y'all going the same way? <laughs> uh oh! That fisherman strength. Yeah, we caught up quick.
Ehi. Fai. Get it. The fuck? Oh hell no. You got an even bigger sword now? Or is that the same one reforged? So you got a little substitute. <laughs> I guess. What you got now? So the half breeds gotta get in the way to help. It's not so long enough, exactly. Yeah, I've leveled up since the last time. Mm. Wow, so he could easily get up in there. What is he gonna do? You gonna put the destroy one on there? Oh, okay. I thought that was the disc. I thought the other one was the disc his dad made. Let's do this together. I better hurry up. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Wow, still not working. Yeah, y'all better hurry. <laughs> Is it gonna stop? Okay. Is this going to grant us a new power up? Yeah, he wastes no time. <laughs> Let's go. Go ahead and try it out. How did they just appear up in the cockpit?
I guess the thing is kind of remodeled itself since it's been taken control of now. Oh, you can already see the legs. Nice. So we got a completely new Mecha Zord now. Hey, baby, put him up. Oh, shit. Come on, bro. You have to be that petty. <laughs> this thing is on this Hajime no Ippo shit. You charged up. Mm. Talk about where is this power coming from? You've seen this. You've already gotten a taste of this. Oh. Right on top of the head, huh? It's over for you. Yes, dude. <laughs> what is that going to do? Oh, wow. Bullshit. Yeah. So he's trying to get them high or something? But guys, that right there was Act 33, man. So the Bull Origami is now in our possession and we have all the firepower we need to handle anything. That's until another super big baddie comes along and we need something else to stop it. But yeah, this is a good two-parter, man. I really love the Kid Hero because he was very adamant about getting that thing to work for them, you know. Even though his dad and his mom had um, potentially, you know, died because of that thing going on a rampage like it was. I like that his dad already had things in motion. And I was under the assumption that, you know, as soon as they mentioned that his dad had passed away, that maybe the disc that Hiro had was um, actually his dad's unfinished work. But no, that wasn't necessarily the case. And I'm guessing that the dad never got a chance to actually go inside of the bull origami and try to get it to stop or control it because of some natural disaster like a hurricane, like not a hurricane, but an earthquake or something like that, that the uh, bull probably caused. Maybe that was the reason because they were on the mountain and maybe he fell to his death. Maybe him and his wife died that way. But uh, yeah, I did like this one. You know, this was uh, very fun to watch. Seeing that old man, you know, actually reveal that story element. Um, we got a new Zord. I uh, can't wait to see what they're going to use like for add-on weapons and stuff. Maybe they'll just keep it how it is. You know, it's like each Zord, they kind of serve their own purpose. They have their own uh, array of weapons. And it seems like the bull um, god, he already has his own thing with the little arm-mounted blasters. And he also has the, the disc that can go on the top of his head and create this big-ass beam of some sort. So, yeah. Now, um, also, we got Dayu and fucking Juzo. He is back. You know, I, I didn't think they were going to do that. I thought they were just going to leave that stone as it was. But now we're kind of turning it back over. And we're back to square one where this guy just wants to fight in order to get killed in some kind of capacity. He's kind of on his craving the hunter shit, you know. Like, he knows that his time is short and he wants somebody to take him out. You know, they want him to give him a, um, a good battle. But, uh, yeah, um... Can't wait to see how that's going to get resolved. Hopefully, Juzo turns over to the light, man, because he does make a, um, for a cool, good guy, you know, maybe a neutral guy, not necessarily on the bad or a good side. Somebody that just does right when it's time to do right, you know. He just so happens to be there, and he does right, you know. 
So, yeah, I can't wait to see how that's going to be resolved because I feel like Akamaro, he's kind of playing both sides. He just kind of used people as pawns, man. But we'll see. Anyways, this is going to do it for us today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reaction because, as always, I have a blast reacting to these things with you and for you. If there's anything I may have missed or got misconstrued, by all means, provide the proper context in the comment section below. And I promise I will get back to you. But this is your boy RBG. We intended reactions. I'll catch you guys in the next reaction too. Samurai Sentai Shinkinger. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but um, peace.